What's up, kings and queens? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel today. I am the Eva Monroe. Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about something that I've been super excited to share with you guys. I've been so excited to talk about this, but I had to take some time. I had to spend some time with it. And it is actually a new unreleased Tom Ford fragrance, and it is Tuberu's new. I have not been this excited about a Tom Ford release in a very long time. Um, if you if you follow me for any extended period of time and you think about like when I smelled F and Fab, I was like, oh, I don't know. And then I fell in love with it. I smelled Lost Cherry and I was like, yeah, it smells like cherry car freshener. And then I fell in love with it. This has been love at first sniff for me. Now, again, it's called Tuberu's New. It has not actually been released yet. So don't fret. You won't be able to find this right away. Um, before I get into that, let me share something else with you guys. I, if you look around me, there's a lot going on around me. There's like, there's a TV right there. There's a lot going on around me. I am moving to a different room. And so probably for like the next three or four days, I will be somewhat MIA because this process will be occurring and it is going to be a lot of work, especially moving those things right there. I'm not, I ain't ready, but I got to do it. So anyway, let's talk about Tuberu's new and why this was love at first sight for me or love at first sniff. So you guys know I'm a Tuberose fan and I have, I I can't even, I wouldn't even try to name all of my Tuberose fragrances. I have everything from uh, Ramon Mongal, Kiss My Name, to Creed Iris Tuberose, to uh, Rouge Malachite, and, and everything in between. I love Tuberose. But let me tell you what I love about this fragrance. Um, because I had even said at one point in time that I felt like uh, tuberose was just becoming an overused note. And it's always like tuberose with really sweet, um, pretty much the same type of dry down. But, and, and some citrus sometimes to freshen it up or whatever, like with Creed Iris tuberose. But this is, in my opinion, is the exception to the rule. Honestly, this was love at first sniff for me. The reason why is because it is tuberose. Like, no doubt in my mind when I smell this from the very first initial spray, it's tuberose. But the thing that throws me for a loop here and the thing that's going to throw you for a loop too is the fact that there's this leathery thing going on in here which in my opinion really gives it some uniqueness. I don't know if it's like oak moss. I don't know if it's like an actual leather note. I also feel like I pick up on some oud, like some really clean oud in this fragrance. And then I'm gonna just go out on a limb and say that there's possibly vanilla in here could be gardenia gardenia could be in here as well because there's in there's a little bit of a milky sweet going on like what gardenia actually has to offer in this fragrance as well it's nothing short of amazing in my opinion slightly dry but like i said clean and leathery at the same time um do i find the fragrance to be feminine or masculine. I, I don't find it to be feminine or masculine, but I will say this, that women who absolutely positively love their white florals, but they shy away from that leathery thing, I don't think that this is going to be one that you're going to enjoy because like I said, that leathery thing is really pronounced in here, but it's what gives the fragrance some depth and some uniqueness, in my opinion. I think men will enjoy this. I, I especially think that men that enjoy tuberose will enjoy this. If you hate tuberose, <laughs> this 
this is not going to be the fragrance for you. You're not going to enjoy anything about this fragrance because when I say it's tuberose from beginning to end, I just got um, Wild Python, Mancera's Wild Python. And people speak of the tuberose note in that and it's there and it's heavy in the top, but it's not even as there and as heavy as the tuberose in this thing is. And like I said, I really feel like tuberose's little sister, little sweet sister, Gardenia, is showing her thing, doing her thing in here. Maybe like, I don't know, because, you know, Gardenia, if, and I've said this in videos before, but I'll say it again. Um, Gardenia is actually never going to be an authentic note in fragrances because oil cannot be extracted from Gardenia flowers because they're too delicate to undergo the extraction process. So whenever you see Gardenia in a flower, it's typically, it's made up of like tuberose and jasmine and um, something else that they use as well to create, to recreate the actual scent of Gardenia. Um, I don't know. I don't get a. I don't get a dirty indolic jasmine thing going on in here. Like I said, in my opinion, if if the listed notes came out and they said there's tuberose and leather in this, and possibly some vanilla sweetening it up, I would be like, yep, that's that's exactly what I get from this. That's what I smell. But I love this. The longevity on this has been very impressive to me. It's been very impressive. I mean, it's not fleeting at all on my skin. I put it on, I get about three hours of good, solid, strong projection. Um, Four, five, and six hours in, I can still get wafts of it as I'm moving around. It lasts forever on clothes. I, I'm here for this. So if you get the opportunity, once this is actually released then i i honestly i recommend that you try this because i love this especially if you're a tuberose fan um when i think about like someone asked me like what level of of tom ford is it up there with like what would you i would say it's got like an f and fab uniqueness to it I really, I feel that way because F and Fab has this thing that like I've never smelled before. And that's, that's what I get from this very grown up tuberose and something leathery. So thank you guys so much for watching me today again. Oh, please do yourself a favor when you can get your hands on this. Absolutely get your hands on this. Tom Ford Tuberous New. Now, whenever these um show up, you know, on the DL, typically it's like two to three months before they actually like pop up in the store. So I would say maybe could be sooner, but typically two to three months. So thank you guys so much for watching me today. Until I see you again, be blessed and bye for now.